Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Carlick with Flying and Eating. Today, let's go somewhere and do something. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Good morning, it is Adam here on today's adventure. We're going out to uh, Columbus, Ohio, of all places. Um, I'm going there specifically for a convention called Korgs. It has nothing to do with dogs, not corgis. Uh, it is a convention that is, of course, retro video games. I am a guest, they flew me out, all that sort of stuff. And you would get a more flashy intro, except the CTA, Chicago Transit Authority, once again was very late. And so my flight board's in like 20 minutes and I just got to O'Hare, so. I have checked in and today is absolute chaos in here. I'm not really sure why, I don't know what's going on. All I know is that because I have clear and TSA pre-check, none of this will apply to me. Clear, please sponsor me. I will totally take your money. Okay, through security, no problems on my end. Yay. Uh, I have about 10 minutes. That is the power of clear. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I'm going to go to the United Club real quick, grab something really quick to eat, grab some coffee, and then board the flight. Not a lot of time here, but this is when I'm eating some sausages and some muffins and eggs. There's a little one of those robots that cleans stuff. <laughs> I love it in here. We have made it. We are here in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, now I'm going to walk through this airport. I don't think I've ever been to Columbus before. It's actually kind of new for me. That's weird. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I've definitely been to Ohio many times. I've even shown you guys Ohio a little bit in this channel before. Maybe one day we'll do like a real trip to like Cleveland. Oh, we did that. <laughs> We did the airport anyway. Does not matter. Um, so what I have to do now, go through, I have to exit here, and then my ride will come to get me a guy named Bo I've never met before, but he works for the con. It'll be fun, and then I'll give you some sort of update. Um, I would, I have no plans food-wise, because Columbus is not known for any specific food. I actually looked it up, and it was just like a random hodgepodge of things. And when the first thing on your list is, we're known for pizza. No, you're not. Don't, don't say that, that's a lie. And then it's like, we're also known for di dipping fries in milkshakes. Google it. That came up. We're not doing that, so I don't know what we're doing. You're doing a great job, man. Thank you. You're welcome. To anyone who saw any other video I had Ohio in, or just knows anything about Ohio, and um, yeah, this is very fitting. A Bob Evans at the airport. A Bob Evans Express. It, it had to be. It had to be. It's like going to Canada and seeing a Tim Hortons. It, it has to be. We're in the car now. This is Bo. He's my boo. What up? <laughs> um, so we got some time to kill because it's like, what, 10 in the morning? I can't check into the hotel room, which they were cool enough to get me until like 3 because that's like the law of hotels. Um, unless we get lucky for some reason. I don't know. So I, I've put a lot of pressure on him, uh, unjust pressure, and told him to take me to something that you would promote with as Columbus, like Definitive Columbus. No, no pressure, uh, but a lot of pressure. What it's are we a doing? lot of pressure. It is. It's uh, not fair. I'm sorry. Do you like books? Not really. Oh, well, that doesn't yeah, help. Yeah, that doesn't help at all. Thanks. Well, we're going to have to think on this yeah. for a bit, but we'll get back to you. So this is a thing now. Caramel cold brew M&Ms. I'm not sure why the world needed this, but there it is. Guys, I found them once again. If anybody out there remembers my Guam videos, this was the only place in the world I'd ever seen them was at Kmart in Guam. For some reason, you have them here at Walmart in Columbus, Ohio. Grove City, Ohio. Yeah, well, okay, yes, Grove City, Ohio, but right outside <laughs> of Columbus, Ohio. If you guys want your Ding Dong flavored coffee or your Twinkie flavored coffee, help yourself. They don't seem to have the honey bun or whatever the other one was as well, but hey, bonus points. Bonus points. I've come through in the clutch. Yes, Air Jordan over here. <laughs> Something tells me I'm supposed to get these. I don't know what it is. But something in the universe says maybe I'm supposed to get these drinks. Why are you looking at my chest? So where are we? What are we doing? We are at Dirty Frog Franks. Dirty, Dirty Frogs. Frogs. Dirty Frogs. We're in France now. Anyway. Cut. Repeat. Dirty Franks Hot That's Dog Palace. Staying in the video. <laughs> in Columbus, Ohio. Now we're in Columbus. Uh, gonna get some weird hot dogs. So you guys known for hot dogs? Uh, no. But. But they're good? But they're good. Okay, they're good. I'm gonna, total disclosure here, I may be a food snob on a lot of things. The Chicago hot dog, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I like the meat we use, I'm Vienna beef, but, but like the concept of the ingredients we put in, I'm sorry to my beloved people, we are wrong. So I'm gonna give Columbus a shot here, he swears by it. But he also swears by their pizza, which I'm not gonna get on board well, with. I didn't swear by anything, I said it was fine. 
Okay, that's that's Chicago also, pizza's overrated. Oh, we're done. So we're sitting here, look at the menu. As you guys know about me, I only focus on whatever they claim they do well. If these are your premiums, that's where we go. Within there, I'm feeling the Mac attack. It's a macaroni and cheese hot dog, essentially, bacon bites, and you have the option to have it charred, which is absolutely happening. So I'm sure it's I'm wrong about this, but right there up in the center, keep in mind I know absolutely nothing about music. Yeah. I thought that guy was Putin and drag. I can see that. Our food has arrived. What'd you get here? All right, so this one is the Tacho Dog, which has cheese sauce, tater tots, onions, and jalapeno. And this is the Pittsburgh Princess French fries, coleslaw, and vinegar. All right, and I got that mac and cheese bite hot dog with bacon bits and stuff. I also, as a bonus, got pretzel bites because I wanted to, and there's cheese. Enjoy. So we just came out of there. What did you think of this place you recommended that you already really like? Uh, I surprisingly really liked it. Wow. Yeah. Hot Weird. take there. Actually, for real, this place was really good. The hot dog in particular, the macaroni and cheese one, that was bomb. The pretzel bites were fine. They were fine. But I would definitely do this place again. I would definitely stick to the hot dogs. There's a reason they you know, do that. Hot dog uh, palace. Yeah. Not, not, not pretzel, pretzel but, palace. but exactly. He's got, I can't argue with that logic. <laughs> uh, so next time I would get two hot dogs instead. And I would just have to find another one that kind of called to me. But the, the, the bacon, mac, and cheese bite. Mac attack. Hot dog. Fantastic. Fantastic. That should be your thing instead of your other thing. What is your other thing? Buckeyes? No. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to the Buckeyes? Well, what's the other thing? The, the, the Wendy's thing. Oh, the Wendy's. So, Wendy's... Let's explain uh, this. So, you guys remember I mentioned kind of as a joke about dipping fries in shakes? This has a reason. So, so first of all, I'm going to correct you in that it's not a shake. It's a Frosty, which is different somehow it's thicker than a shake. Oh, okay. It's more spoon, a spoonable item, not a straw item. So, it's like... like a, a malt? It's frosty. Okay. Welcome to Columbus. Uh, so, french fries, you dip in the frosty, you use as kind of a spoon, but then you eat the spoon, and you get salty, you get sweet. It is excellent. I just, I'm not saying we're going to do it. I just wanted you guys to know that wasn't a joke. That is a thing. It's a thing. It is a thing. And it's good. And is it because it's from Wendy's? Uh, I mean, I've only ever done it at Wendy's. So and yes. what is the significance of Wendy's? Uh, Wendy's is a Columbus-based company. Boom! Started here. And I would take you there, but we're not going to. Tied it all back in. So, we're about to go get a Buckeye. Before we do that, though, which is a big peanut butter chocolate thing, before we do that, I have to show you this. Schmidt's Sausage House and Restaurant. Of course, we're in little German town, which makes sense, because Ohio is kind of America's Germany. I know everybody wants to say Milwaukee and Wisconsin specifically, and culturally, perhaps, that would be more accurate. In terms of tone, living tone. It may be more accurate to say that Germany is European Ohio. Anyway, um... They have a lot of good German stuff here, and he was recommending to me, well, Google, first of all, recommended uh, smoked sausages, which apparently this would be like the place to do it in Columbus, but he was also telling me there's a crazy cream puff thing the size of your head there. If I was hungrier and more willing to be fat, we would do that. So maybe next time, if there's another con here, or we do this again next year. So we got a bunch of custom chocolates here. I love turtles. I think bear claws, that's all great stuff. Awesome, awesome. I love the all the homemade-ish, you know, chocolate Dutch pretzels. Chocolate covered pretzels, milk chocolate covered Oreos. Orange peels. Orange peels are all right. We got the BDs happening here though, but it's worth it. So we just came out of the chocolate place with something special. So these are Buckeyes, which uh, for those of you who don't know, a Buckeye is a poisonous nut. These are the non-poisonous chocolate and peanut butter version mm -hmm. uh, from Schmitz here in Columbus, Ohio. And they are delicious. So what are they exactly? It's basically just peanut butter dipped in chocolate. So it's... You know, if you're a Reese's fan, you're going to love... So this is like this. a good version of a Reese's exactly. peanut butter cup. Yes, right? it's, a, it's right? a fair description. Now, I love Reese's. That's fine. It's pre-processed, mass-produced stuff. This is like they actually tried and put effort into it. You can you can do better than a Reese's peanut butter cup. That's what they give away to little children on Halloween. You can do better when you try. And we're about to try. Go, Bo Boo Boo. Bottoms up. You don't look like you're enjoying it. No, it's so good. <laughs> You look like it hurts. It, it, it's so good that it hurts. Okay, I can get behind that. Yeah, okay, all right, okay. Creamy. Needs some milk, but just fantastic. Got one here. Here we go. Here we're doing this. Okay. Dude, they're like fluffy. Mmm. Take a Reese's peanut butter cup, throw it away, <laughs> and then get these. Throw it in the garbage. It's the same concept, but infinitely better. Yeah, it's really good. Milk chocolate. Mm hmm Covered in peanut butter fluff. Yes, I approve. Um, Buckeye? Buckeye. So it's named after something poisonous. It is not. It's I mean, it's good. poisonous to you if you have, like, a peanut butter allergy. Maybe don't do that. But so it's normal people. 
<laughs> <We're> gonna... <laughs> <It's a joke. laughs> okay, so I'm now in the hotel room that the con got for me. Pretty nice. It's a Crown Plaza room. Uh, two beds, which is just me, but I'm cool with that. <laughs> Ooh, coffee. I like coffee. That'll be useful. And the heater is on. I'm not really sure why, but we'll take care of that. But there you go. So I'm just chilling in the hotel room here. And first of all, I want to give a big shout out to Bo from earlier. I don't, I don't think I even mentioned this. Not only did he pay for the food, the hot dogs, it was really nice. He didn't have to do that. I, you know, I would have paid for my own, but he volunteered it. So thank you. He also bought the, uh, the Buckeyes, the chocolates, and that was really cool. One thing I did buy, which I can show you guys now, is these Dunkin' Donuts coffees you guys saw earlier. So, yeah, I want a coffee. I think this is, this is going to happen. This is the Dunkin' Donuts Cake Batter Donut Vanilla Cake. I don't expect this to be particularly special, but it's part of their bakery series. It smells sweet, which I guess I should expect. It just tastes like generically sweet. Like, yeah, nothing. I would not identify blind taste test. There's no chance I would come up with, oh, vanilla cake donut or whatever. No, it's fine. It's fine. Those Gu the ones I got in Guam, the ones I just showed you guys, the Twinkies one, the Hostess ones, those legit taste like the thing they claim. This does not, but it's fine. It's coffee. It's fine. Good morning, guys. It's day two. Uh, we're still in Columbus. Uh, we're about to, where are we going? What are we about to do? We're going to a video game con. Actually, it's called Korg's, because there's already a, a con called a video game con. I've been to that one. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to actually go over to the convention. By the way, I didn't even introduce you. guys remember Brett. He's been in videos before. He's a good guy. He sells books, smart books. I don't write books. He's smart. So we're doing a little pit stop thing uh, before we go over to the con. We're going to stop at uh, Sheets. People out in North Carolina, the East Coast, you guys are down in that area of the country, you're going to know what that is. Which kind of like thought was skeets. Yes, just... which means something very different. <laughs> um, but uh, you guys are going to know, it's very similar to Wawa. And that's nice to see. I'm not a huge fan, but whatever, it's a thing. The only reason I'm filming this, actually, is because we also saw the most horrifying thing in the known universe. Are you ready? Are you ready? This will bring, this is PTSD triggering for not only me, but a lot of very innocent people. They have a Tim <laughs> Hortons. You Canadians, why did you do this to us? We are setting up for the con. The Pluto is mostly set up. All of its infrastructure is the Pluto itself will be out when it's appropriate. Uh, everybody else is still doing their thing. Check this out. Jurassic Park car and a DeLorean. You know it's a con. You know it's a con. It's a nerd con. It has to be. They made me this like cool big thing <laughs> that I'm going to have to bring home because it's cool. I don't know how I'm going to do that, but I was upgraded. United upgraded me to first class already. so. They'll let me bring it. I think I'll be fine. But let's let's do a little walk around here. So people are setting up all their booths. Uh, Brett, you're on Pluto guard duty. If not, something happens, it's your fault. Yep. All right, yeah, we got him on camera agreeing that it would be his fault. Uh, but yes, you can see a bunch of, we're gonna have Mortal Kombat people. Buddy Paul will be there. Tim Kitzrow, you guys remember him from some of the videos. Um, the NBA Jam, boom, shaka laka. Um, yeah, lots of, lots of familiar faces if you watched a lot of these con videos. Uh, this is my first time at Korg's. I've never done this one before. Seems like it'll be a good time. Uh, yeah, there you go. You just get a quick sense of it. Uh, and we'll do another little run around later when there is more to show, when people are more set up and established. But there you go, you get a nice sense of the space. Pretty big space. I'm excited, let's go. Everyone's still setting up and I need another coffee. So I'm gonna continue this little series here. I'm going with the coffee muffin cake or whatever. Coffee cake muffin. We'll see how this goes if it tastes anything like that, or if it's just, yet again, sugary coffee. Kinda don't like it. Yeah, I don't really like this one. Like, I'll drink it, because caffeine and fat, but like, I would not recommend. So right here, what you're seeing is E.T. on the Atari 2600, obviously a very infamous game. Howard Scott Warshaw, the guy who created this game, is here, right over there. All right, the show is just starting. People are entering. It's, it is time, everybody. Let the battle be joined. So we have a moment. This is Ron. Ron, what did you say the second you saw me? Hey, Flying and Edie. This is the first time, especially at a retro game con of all things, that somebody knows me for that first. I want to thank you for that because that's yeah. a fist bump, huge moment. Thank you very much, Ron, for watching yeah, that no channel. Problem. And now you actually get to be on it. Word. Con's been going for a couple hours now. It's time for another coffee. I gotta get the third of this unlucky hat trick out of the way. So this is the brownie batter donut, which I was excited about until now. Here we go. Okay, this one's actually good. This actually kind of tastes like a brownie. 
All right, of the three, this is the only one I would recommend. Rich, chocolatey taste. This one's actually good. All right, we went out on a high note. I'm happy about that. I've got the Pluto here. It is panel time. We're going up there for the YouTuber panel. I don't know, man. It's it's the job. This is what we do. We have fun, and I have to bring this because I can't just leave this here, right? I'm on stage, waiting here for my buddies. We have a full packed house of eight people. No, it'll pick up. John's ready to go. You ready? I'm ready. Do, do the do the thing. There you go. All right, we're gonna do a panel now. It's gonna kick it. Well, the con is wrapping up, but the adventure is not. I have to get a ride from here back to the hotel, and this is. Oh, I had to make a sacrifice. There's a shortage of seats. So I'm going to have to ride to the hotel in this, I know, tough life, man. I have to ride in the Jurassic Park Jeep. Yay! Thanks for letting us roll in this, man. Yep. That's going to be a blast. Later. Thanks again. The adventure never stops in these videos, does it? You just get to go everywhere, do all the cool stuff, all the nerd stuff. Later, dude. So I'm with Brett again. Todd's here. I'm in the back. He runs a great video game convention in Chicago called VGS. You should totally go. I may or may not be there, depending on my schedule. Anyway, you should. I go. will be there. He will be there. So at least you'll get a con you'll get a, a consolation prize. Now, uh, <laughs> speaking of consolation prizes, our restaurant of choice failed because it was inside of a hotel. Not good. No. Skyline Chili. Yeah, that's what we're doing now. Now where we're going, and I recommend it. It's a chain, but it's a local chain. And it's a thing you have to do when you're on Ohio. I would have picked Denny's. You're a fool. <laughs> I mean, I would have taken Bob Evans over to Denny's. We're supposed to get this. This is called the five way. I guess I'm gonna get the small one, and it's basically this. Explain it. What is it? Okay, the five way has chili that is not really chili, but it's good. It's got spaghetti. It's you got you say that as a Texan. Yes. Okay, I want to make that clear it's to the audience. Definitely not Texas chili. It's some kind of odd thing that's rumored to have brown sugar, which makes no sense, but somehow it works. It's got spaghetti. It's got onions. It's got the most cheese you've ever seen or eaten in your life. The, mo the amount of cheese you have eaten up until this point in your life, this is more in one serving than you've had in your entire life. I'm looking forward to the dying experience. Yeah. Yes, it's, there's a cemetery nearby. I saw for, it for a reason. Yeah, we'll go there. All right, yes. cool. Food is here. He was not joking. It All is the a cheese. It is a mountain of cheese on it. top of the beans, the chili, and I guess some sort of spaghetti or something underneath. I don't know. Let's go for it. So we just came out of Skyline Chili. You still maintain your opinion? It's very good. It's simple, but it's kind of strange, kind of different, but it's very much an Ohio thing, and you kind of have to do it when you're here. I actually agree. Uh, I was actually pleasantly surprised by this. I don't know if I would do it like every time or anything, but... It's odd. It's odd. It's an interesting combination of ingredients. I would like to see what a place that isn't a chain could do with it. Right. Like the concept. So Maybe it's, it's called liberty. chili, but it's sort of chili the, the, adjacent. Right. The Texan, I'll trust the Texan on that. Right. But the combination of ingredients, good. I want to see a gourmet place try the same concept. But this gets a... Stamp of approval with an asterisk of it is technically fast food-ish adjacent. But if you're in Ohio, there's not a lot of other things Ohio's known for. It's reasonably priced. It'll fill you up. That's a, that's a valid point. Very cheap, yeah. actually, and yeah. a mountain of cheese. If you're <laughs> if you have any lactose intolerance, not for you. Hancock. Uh -uh. Yeah, John Hancock. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Did not like Skyline Chili because he, he doesn't went, do cheese. You saw it. He went with no cheese. I you're, just, you're eating a bowl of mush at that I would point. not eat this stuff without cheese, yeah, yeah. but with cheese, there you go. Good morning. It is day three. Uh, Brett and I are both here at CMH, Columbus's airport. Uh, the adventure is over. Did you have fun? I had an amazing time. I'm absolutely exhausted, but hey, it's it's not a great con if you're not tired afterwards. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it was a lot of fun. Now we all go home. Where are you going back to? Dallas-Fort Worth area, back to business as usual. It is Mother's Day, so i got to do the, the wife, the mom, got to do all that kind of stuff. So, you know. You go have fun to be a responsible adult, and I'll come <laughs> visit you down in Dallas at some point. If you guys never saw our Dallas episode, Good hello, times. hello, times. hello. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna go back there at some point. We're gonna have more steak and maybe chicken, special. Yeah, chicken. we're gonna check out Fort Worth this time. Next time, when? But stay tuned. I don't know when that's gonna be. Eventually, eventually, at eventually. some point. Yes, eventually. So before I go too far with this, I do want to give a huge shout out to the con for Korg specifically for bringing me to all this. That was awesome to do, and a huge shout out to United Airlines because I think I mentioned this earlier, and if I didn't, I apologize. They bumped me up to first class because that's what happens when you stick to a real airline. Don't ever fly Southwest or Frontier or Spirit or any of that trash. 
trash. United Airlines, my favorite. Delta is a quality airline that is of no use to me because they have no real operation in Chicago outside just right back to their hubs. American Airlines is a real airline that goes to real locations, but they have the quality of a dumpster. If you're an American, those are your three choices and you should marry them. Just pick the one that makes the most sense based on your routes. And then before you know it, you're flying all the time for cheap and sometimes even free. It's a real thing. I talk about it in my Discord all the time. It's like nobody believes me. It's called airline miles. Use them. Anyway, I am going home. I'm gonna give CMH a point. I had no idea they were gonna have a clear lane here. That's awesome. I would like to take a second to point something out. I, of course, am only flying United Airlines, as I made very clear, because that's the only airline I will fly in any context ever, except for very extreme situations. American Samoa, watch out. Anyway, my check-in experience was simple. I stood there for a second, walked over to a kiosk, checked myself in, printed my boarding pass. Always print the boarding pass. Digital one is for fools. Anyway, uh, I get the pass, and what do you know, I'm done. Leisurely experience. Brett made the mistake of flying American Airlines, and he has been standing there for 10 minutes at the kiosk, which I went over there to check on him. It's like, oh, you have a $30 hidden bag charge. So uh, this is the line for security. Uh, I'm going to skip all this, I think. It's called Clear. Sign up for it. And again, Clear, send me money. I will totally take that. Look at this. It's ridiculous. <laughs> And five seconds later, I'm through security. Clear. Always sign up for clear and TSA pre-check. I don't know why you wouldn't. So my flight is leaving very soon, so that's why I had to kind of bail on Brett there, because he's still, at this moment, as I record this, beyond security, where I got to skip all that, he's still sitting there at American Airlines trying to check in. Don't fly American Airlines, and make sure you have TSA pre-check and clear. It's a blissful, easy experience to fly when you do things right. Okay, so I am now home. I am back in Chicago. The adventure is over at Korg's. It was wonderful. Thank you very much to Gary in particular who brought me out there. Everyone at the con, it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. Now, I have to make up the United Club thing to you. I know I kind of went there for a hot second on the way in. Now I got time to kill because not only my home, but a couple of my buddies in my Discord, which by the way, you should totally join my Discord if you like to talk travel as well as video games and all sorts of other things. Uh, we're all going to get together and go get pizza. They're going to pick me up, but we're just going to go out and adventure into Chicago. Chicago. But we're not really going to bother filming that because uh, maybe one day, maybe an April Fool's episode we'll do on Chicago. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to go over to the United Club and have some breakfast and relax. So thank you very much for watching this video uh, as well as watching all the other ones. Check out the playlist, all that sort of stuff. Uh, thank you as always. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Check out the social media stuff in the description Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Discord, Patreon, etc. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.